Bye. It's been a hot minute. I know, but trust me, I'm making up for it in today's video. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by today. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end of the video and also give this video a thumbs up if you love the video. To my current subscribers, thank you so much for hanging in there. I love you, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video, we have a DIY project. Um, I have been doing a little bit of makeovers in various rooms of the house, um, namely the kitchen, the foyer area, living room, and the master bedroom. And so I've been searching, I've been doing a lot of decor shopping and I was searching for uh, these specific items, namely these, these vessels, these ancient, like vintage, older kind of vessels that you will see on a restoration hardware or even on a pottery barn. Um, but the price tag on those, no. So I just cannot see myself paying that much for decor. Furniture? That's different. But on decor, no, I'd rather save my money on uh, furniture or just more things that hold a little bit more value, but I still wanted the look. So I ultimately decided to go kind of thrift shopping or just kind of looking around in stores. Um, and I had to kind of venture out beyond the home goods and the Marshalls and the typical stores that you know most of us go to um, pottery barn like i said and restoration hardware they did have them but again the price tag was just too much and i ended up at a store called adjectives market if you guys caught my last vlog you would know that i actually found a huge it was a huge find for a huge vessel it's a huge beautiful red vase i will insert a photo here so you guys can see um that sorry my cat and I found this pot, this, well, I call it a pot, but it's a huge vessel. I think it's about maybe 20 or 24 inches wide. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful on its own, ceramic, heavy, just really good quality. And I saw it and guys, it cost $40, okay? It cost $40. So I was like, so I got my uh, creative juices flowing and I was like, yes, you're going to turn this into uh, the pot that you're looking for. My inspiration for this particular pot is the Joshua vase on Pottery Barn. I really just wanted to kind of make this my own. Of course, I knew it wouldn't look exactly like that, but I did my best. Now, this DIY did end up kind of being a little bit of a, uh, maybe a fail, but not a fail. I mean, I still love the way it looks and the way it came out, but you guys will see in the video what happened, and I'll kind of explain a little bit at the end of the video. So if you want to see how I started out with this, and turn it into this, which is now ultimately this. <laughs> Keep on watching. bit with making it making it rustic looking because of the paint 
keeps like there's three coats of paint on here already i feel like i might have to do eight or nine coats just to get it to where i want it to be um but so i just sprayed like it's a spot spray so i paint painted in certain areas where the where the um where the red was showing through um so i'm just gonna keep kind of that process well, i'm gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes maybe an hour and then go back to it and i'm just gonna use my dirt and my rocks and just try to just make it look old just so much my the goal is just to try to make it look old at this point um and it's looking kind of good but it's not exactly there so i'm just gonna keep going with those with those with those steps so if you're struggling like me and you feel like the paint is peeling because mine is and just so you guys know i think i showed this already but i'm using this paint make sure it's in i'm using this paint i do have another one of a different brand that i might try if i feel like this one is not thick enough but um i'm just gonna make it look as good as i can and not stress over it but yeah I'm just, this is where we are in this process. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an update on the first DIY project I'm working on today. So I've already gone in with like the, probably the fourth or fifth coat of paint. I'm getting ready to go in with another coat of paint. I thought I had spray paint that was chalk paint. I do, it's just a different color. It's like a charcoal gray and obviously I'm going for black. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna continue to spray this and make, uh, just keep adding on the coats. And then I'm gonna keep marking it up. It looks, you can see kind of what I've done so far. If you guys can really tell in this light. So I've just kind of made imperfections in it. Um, I may go over it with the gray paint, but I need to see how close it is to black it looks almost this color actually but I want black um, so that's where we are in this process okay so I just applied the last coat of paint I'm getting ready to um, apply some of the well I've already applied some of the dirt and the you know to kind of age it up um, and I think that I kind of like what I have so far. Um, this is kind of like gave it some texture. This was an accident, but it actually gave it some texture. And then, you know, it's just pretty much kind of looks, it's not uniformed, but it is uniformed. Do you guys know what I mean? So I'm going to go back on this side and touch it up. I'm just going to let the paint dry a little bit though, before I go in there and do it. Um, probably like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to wipe it all down. And then it's going to be... Okay guys, so as you saw in the last clip there, I put on the polycrylic and I really didn't think that it would change all of the um, all of the imperfections and things that I made on the pot, but it did. 
Um, this is the pot of 24 hours later. It's fully dry. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try to like redo it or either make more imperfections on it. Like I said, it's still a it's a still a large, big, beautiful pot. Um, it's still beautiful. It still has some texture on it. Um, that texture that I showed in the video. Um, let me turn it around here. This is the other side, so you guys can see. So it's still like it's the polyacrylic. It's was a matte finish, so it really should have mattened it up a little bit more. Like I said, I don't know yet if I'm gonna go back in and really try to age it again. Um, this time, if I do do that, I won't use the polyacrylic, but I was really trying to seal in the paint. In hindsight, I should have done multiple coats, let that dry, then put the, put the polyacrylic on top, and then age it up and let the aging be the final stages of that. But kind of did it backwards. You know, it's my first time doing it. Um, but still, all in all, like I said, it's still a really pretty, pretty pot. I still love it. It's still gorgeous. Um, I'm waiting for uh, what I ordered to come in. I have some fall, fall, some faux fall, fall plants that I'm going to be using to put in here. Though so this is meant for the kitchen countertop, the kitchen island that I have. Um, which, guys, I can't wait to show you the kitchen. I'm redoing it. Well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for the video. I'm gonna wait for the video, but um this is meant for that um let me just see what i have here these are a few olive plants that i have for my other vessel which i just i realized in my in the vlog i told i said that i was going to show you guys what i got the two vessels that i got well the red one was one this is the other one this is the other one that i got and this one was 70. And it's already aged and everything. And this one was 70. This sucker is heavy. Um, but this is meant for the foyer, which you guys will see. But yeah, so let me, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it will look like with some type of uh, faux greenery in here. This is with the olive branches. And I only have four. I have to get more. You can see kind of how deep, how deep this is. I mean, this stem is pretty long. I think this stem is maybe 24 inches and it goes all the way down there. So this is, put that back. It's gonna look so pretty on the counter. I can't wait. That's gonna complete today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you, you know, got some inspiration to maybe do some of your own DIYs. Um, and there's gonna be more fun videos coming up after this as well, guys. And um, yeah, I think that that's it. I'm gonna see you in my next video, which I think is going to be, ooh, my, my next video is another DIY project that um, I kinda maybe gave away in this video. I don't think I did. But I was working on two DIY projects within this, but in making two different videos. Anyway, long story short, my next video is a DIY. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.